Good morning class. I am teacher Joshua Andrea Pigo Chano. So before we start our day, let us pray first. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Okay, class, so how are you guys have been doing? Oh, that's great to hear, class. So now let us check your attendance, okay? So I see that everyone's present today. Job well done, class. Now I want you to be reminded on our classroom rules. First, what is it? Okay, do not talk when someone is talking in front. Second, okay, that's great. Raise your right hand if you want to be recognized or if you want to answer. And third, okay, be cooperative. And fourth, yes, be honest. And the last one, the fifth one is always smile. That's great. Okay, now, so who can still remember? Or recall what was our last topic. Okay, Lucas. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for that, Lucas. You may now take your seat. Okay, class. Now, before anything else, I wanted to ask a question. Have you ever wondered what makes life on earth? Now, write a journal entry about it for five minutes. And after that, you find a partner and share your work. Is that understood, class? Okay, very good. Okay, class, so thank you very much for sharing your work with us. Now, for your activity for today, I want you to find your group. Only three groups, okay? Now, I want you to answer this activity 9.1 entitled, Our Natural Resources. Alright, so do you have your groups already? Okay, very good. And I want you to work quietly and cooperatively with your group class. Is that understood? Okay, very good. Now you may start doing your activity. Okay, class, your time's up. I want you to pass all your papers in front. Okay, so I have all your papers now, class. And what I want you to do is to listen carefully for we will be moving on to our discussion for today. Is that understood? Okay. Good day, class. I am teacher Paula Fredea Tenorio Pinta, and today we're going to discuss the natural resources. So, class, do you know what is natural resources? Anybody in this room know what is natural resources? Okay, so you should listen so that you can know what is natural resources. The planet Earth class is a good place to live. So what? why can we say that the planet Earth is a good place to live? It's because it's provide all we need. Because the planet Earth rich in natural resources. So all living things need to breathe in order to survive. So most of the body activities of living things need oxygen, which is found in the atmosphere. So plants also provide earth with oxygen. So they give off oxygen when they make foods. So the atmosphere class also contain carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is taken in by plants and used in making food in the form of carbohydrates. So living things also breath out carbon dioxide during respiration. It mixed with the gases in the atmosphere. Like class, when we inhale, 
we take or we inhale the oxygen. And when we exhale, we release the carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide class is one of the things that um, plants need in order them to make foods. So earth surface is covered um, with numerous water forms so what are the what, what kind what are the water forms so like ponds river um lake seas and oceans so these water forms are homes of many plants and animals so for example of us like fish and other species that live underwater and also plants like water lilies and other um, plants that they in the underwater the house of the uh, fish like that so earth is the third planet in the solar system in terms of distance from the sun so the distance of the um, the distance of the earth from the sun it gives us the right amount of sunlight for the people not only for the people but also for the animals plants and other more to survive because if the planet if the planet earth is so near to the um, sun it will be so hot but if the planet is be so far from the um, sun it will be so cold so the placement of the earth is right or it gives the right amount of sunlight so Earth, um, Earth's land is rich in natural mineral resources such as petroleum, coal, oil, metals, gemstones, and sun. So mineral resources are very important. It's because to modern the living. Natural resources class are generally grouped into renewable resources and non-renewable resources when we say renewable resources class these are the resources that can be replaced when used plants animals animal productions and replace themselves so in plant class when we cut trees we can replace it when we plant another trees and also in animals they can give birth and class animals and plant they interact with each other so they are being connected to each other when one species or one plant are harmed or abused the other living resources will be greatly affected for example class is in the mountain when we cut all the trees the birds or the other animals that live in the trees will greatly affected because they were going to lose their homes that's why as a human you should not be careless in using renewable resources if these resources are not utilized properly and managed with care they will grow weak and um, eventually died so some human activities disrupt the natural events that replace the renewable resources so now let's talk about the non-renewable resources class when we say non-renewable resources these are the resources that cannot be replaced after they are being used these are the coal oil natural gases petroleum iron and other materials they are formed after thousand or million years so many non-renewable resources can be restored for a very long time once they are used they are gone forever so people should use this material wisely and carefully not to waste them so the question class is how can um how can life of non-renewable resources can be expanded so the life of many non-renewable -re resources such as mat material can be can be extended when we recycle them materials on, are now called recyclable resources they are used recycled and reused so recycled class is one way to extend the life of many non-renewable resources recycling class is it is the process which some materials from non-renewable resources are used again materials such as aluminum copper are recyclable resources paper and gla glass are also recyclable resources 
this material can be um, reproduced um, reproduce into another form. Okay? Okay, class. To evaluate your understanding about my discussion about the natural resources, I will give you an activity. This table. So, as you see, um, we have this table. First column, you should write what are the two kind of natural resources. In second column, the description. And in the third column, give at least two examples. Okay? And after you answer that activity, we're going to check. For your assignment, make a survey of the natural resources of your locality. Classify them as a non-renewable resources and renewable resources. We will going to check your activity on our next meeting.